can be an extremely scary place, especially when it comes to posting your opinion online, and especially when that opinion has to do with a video game. You see, there's a lot of people online who go absolutely bonkers when somebody says something about a game that they love or honestly don't even love. People are just ready to attack literally everything if it doesn't line up with their point of view. And that's what's happening right now with Dragon Age The Veil Guard. BioWare, the developers of Dragon Age and the developers of Mass Effect and a bunch of games that you love, has been a disaster for a very long time. The past few games they released have been a complete backward step from what the studio is capable of, and people have been extremely angry about it. Dragon Age The Veil Guard seems to be something that is looking to correct that, and if the reviews are anything to go by, clearly they've done a good job. But it doesn't mean that they've done a good job with everyone. People have their own opinions, some people will like it, some people won't. Some people look at the writing in the game and think that it's absolute garbage. Some people look at the writing and think it's the greatest thing they've ever read in the history of reading. Everybody's different. But let me tell you this, this game is known to have a lot of controversy around it, specifically because there are instances in this game that appeal to a group of people that, realistically, feel like they are attacked by majority of the population. Honestly, it's true. These people do get a lot of hate, they get a lot of attacks for no reason that are honestly uncalled for, and there's a lot of people online that don't want this game to speak to those people. So of course, there's going to be controversy around it. And it all started not that long ago when this tweet became public. A random guy on Twitter started posting screenshots and videos leaked from the game early that showcased bad writing, that showcased characters that were trans and had trans storylines, and basically said that this game and the direction is awful and that people should probably cancel their pre-orders or wait for reviews. Which realistically, just based on this first post, you're not gonna really think anything's bad. It's just somebody saying that based on what they've seen, it's not good. The one thing I'll say that's not fair though, is that when you look at a scene or that when you look at aspects of a game completely out of context, you're not getting the full story. And it's why so many people judged The Last of Us Part Two before it came out, because they didn't know what they were talking about, they didn't know what they were looking at, all they knew was that they had this image in their head and they had to hate it because of that. It was wrong, it was stupid, and people just gotta play the game. Same thing with this, before you form an opinion based off some leaked 30 second clip, maybe play the game. The problem about this and the main issue and the main controversy with this story about Dragon Age is that this person posting these leaked screenshots has a Rook, the main character, your customized character, and it looked like a very specific look. This guy right here. Now, this image, this is a custom character. You can make your character look like whatever you want. You can make them skinny, you can make them fat, you can make them tall, you can make them small, you can make them have long hair, no hair, blue eyes, no eyes, I don't know, whatever. The point is, it looked like this, okay? A custom character that looks like this is appearing in these leaked videos. Now, popular game reviewer, Mr. Matty Plays, co-host of the Defining Dukes podcast on Last Stand Media, owned by Colin Moriarty, who's great, by the way, Colin Moriarty's great, his review comes out for Dragon Age. A massive fan of Bioware, and a guy who's been hoping and praying that Dragon Age The Veil Guard is gonna be a good game, posts his review and says he's extremely disappointed by it. He's sad, he was expecting something awesome, and it turns out it just didn't appeal to him. Now, the issue comes about when somebody who's commenting on the video said, wait, why is your Rook identical to the Rook being shown in leaked clips under the tweets of Dragon Age content creators and fans? Because the guy who leaked it says he has a friend that got a review copy and hated the game. Maybe you should have a talk with that friend after you decide what you should do about breaking the NDA. So it turns out that Mr. Matty plays, his video footage contains the exact same design character as the leaked footage, which can only mean, because let's be real here, what are the chances in the entire world? Somebody who has an early access version of the game makes the exact same custom character as somebody else. It's extremely, extremely unlikely. So of course, people are now saying, this account spreading these rumors about the game and saying all these negative things about the game is Mr. Matty plays himself that he's been leaking early footage and going on a racist tirade apparently on this fake account and saying that everybody needs to boycott this game, everybody needs to boycott Bioware, and that this game is gonna be a travesty and a disaster. By the way, Mr. Matty Plays broke the Dragon Age NDA and leaked gameplay footage to a friend who happens to have a very racist Twitter account. So yeah, good luck with this one. Not only are people saying it's his friend, which was at first the rumor, people were saying that it was his friend that leaked the game, then people pivoted and said actually it was him on a random side account that he made and decided to ruin his reputation and start posting all this nonsense. 
Which, this of course then, leads people to go on a massive witch hunt against Mr. Matty Plays, being like, I knew it ever since he was associated with Colin Moriarty. Of course he's a secret racist in disguise. Not realizing, of course, that Colin Moriarty is married to a black woman and is obviously not racist if you listen to him talk for more than literally 30 seconds. But besides the point, you have people saying, I do think it's a big thing that Mr. Matty Plays, who received a review code for Veilguard, broke his NDA and leaked this footage to a self-described Nazi who came onto Twitter to shout slurs and death threats at minorities. He didn't do that. Isn't Mr. Matty Plays the guy who leaked a bunch of stuff to his racist friends? Mostly, Mr. Matty Plays a skillet, but I wouldn't give much credit to the former since he broke his NDA and gave footage to a racist friend. EA lawyers are in your walls, Mr. Mr. Matty Plays. You have done fucked up, you have done fucked up. And it also spawns from this person. Hey cutie, this you. From the leaked video being spread by you or one of your friends. Shame other companies saw they trusted their content either couldn't give it. Okay, learn how to speak, learn how to type. The point is, people just absolutely lost their minds because this picture in the review lines up with this character. Wouldn't you use your critical thinking skills for five seconds, for literally five seconds, and come to the conclusion that Mr. Matty Plays has something like four or five editors working for him? And it's much more likely that one of his editors decided to take the footage and either share it with somebody or post it himself? Doesn't that make more sense than Mr. Matty Plays making a fake Twitter account? that he posts racist things on and then posts footage of the game that is the same footage that he's going to use in his review, by the way, which somebody would obviously notice, which they did. Doesn't that make more sense that somebody else would have done this than him? Like, people are so ready to just go out of their way and attack every single person who doesn't share the exact same opinion of them and then make up stories in order to attack people for no reason just because they want to paint people in a bad light. It's like instead of giving anybody the benefit of the doubt or instead of honestly researching for five minutes, people just want to attack everyone and see people burnt down to the ground. Listen, I'm not all this whole cancel culture nonsense. I think it's ridiculous. And I think a lot of the things that people say are absolutely ridiculous. Most of what people say on the internet, you just completely shut out. You don't pay attention to it because people are stupid as fuck. But what it really comes down to is that this shit going on here is insanity. Insanity. You have people on Reset Era, a very popular gaming forum, claiming that they knew Mr. Matty Plays was like this all along because of who he associates with, because he associates with Colin Moriarty, which is ridiculous. Colin Moriarty, by the way, a host of the Sacred Symbols podcast, used to be on Kind of Funny, used to be on IGN, great guy, great podcaster, got a lot of very in-depth information. You should listen to it, check it out. But people hate him because he made a joke about women on Women's Rights Day or something like who can, and it wasn't like to be mad about that is insanity to attack Mr. Matty plays a guy who's running like five YouTube channels and just trying to post videos and reviews about games he likes that he's some racist psycho or whatever is insanity use your brain rather than trying to attack every single person that says one thing you don't like maybe do five seconds of research and get to the bottom of who's actually posting these things and not just attacking anybody that you decide is the person of the week that you should attack. So of course, after a day of receiving non-stop threats to not only himself, but also his friends and family, Mr. Matty Plays comes out with an extremely long apology. And he says, I think it goes without saying, but today has been an extremely hard day. I really appreciate your patience as I look into things. First off, I would like to apologize to everyone at Bioware and EA. I've already reached out to them to let them know the truth. We already have plans to sit down and have a conversation about it. That is my gameplay. Of course, obviously, obviously it is. It was never my intention for Clips of Dragon Age to get released ahead of the embargo lifting. Obviously, obviously. I had shared these two clips of the game with an editor of mine, obviously, again. This is just like, use your brain, people. It is to my understanding that these clips were then taken, shared again, and went down the chain to someone far removed from the both of us who then posted them claiming to be associated with me. So yes, the clips are mine. If Bioware, EA, or any other game company chooses not to work with me over this, then I fully understand and accept that. If you, the viewers on my content, choose not to trust me because you deem me irresponsible with the privilege I was given as a game reviewer, I also fully understand and accept that. So somebody who's, who did literally nothing wrong is saying that if, if this is what it's gonna be that you don't like me anymore and you don't wanna watch my stuff, then so be it. Which is a very mature answer, but realistically, he shouldn't have to say that in the first place. He should say that all of you people who are doing this and claiming these things are absolutely out of your freaking minds and you guys need to shut the hell up and sit the hell down because that is crazy. The guy is just talking about a game and it drives people to go to these insane lengths. 
and claim that he's a racist, that he should be canceled, that no company should work for him, that he deserves to die, that his family is garbage, that his friends are garbage. Let's be real. This is what you're going to do just because he's saying he doesn't like Dragon Age the Veil Guard? You're nuts. You're nuts. It's a video game. Calm down. Just play the game and have fun. Or don't play it and don't have fun. That, like, you know what I mean? Who cares? To go to this extreme says a lot more about you than what was actually leaked and said about the game. Because some people online, you gotta take a chill pill. Go touch grass. Dragon Age the Veil Guard is also not that good of a game that you need to be acting like this about. Let's be real. It's not The Last of Us Part 2. Please subscribe. Thank you. Ooh.